Are you ready to create a life you crave? Let's spin that doom loop of negativity into an upward success cycle and start living lucky. Good morning. morning. I'm Jana. I'm Jason. And we are living lucky. That's right. We were just having a discussion, and I think I know where we're going, but we're going to talk this out in real time. Please help us. Please join in, and please give us your opinion. I think what we're discussing is aligning your desires with your decisions, with your divine design, which I believe is the overall formula of living lucky. I think so. What Jason was bringing up is that so many of his clients have been coming to him lately saying that they want to have a better relationship. Yeah. It's they want to have a better <clears throat> relationship. So it, it, let's just take the husband and wife relationship because relationships can go in a lot of different directions. Yeah. It can be a coworker <clears throat> relationship, a relationship with family, a relationship. We'll keep it very nuclear and we can keep it husband and wife and um, maybe children. We can include children. Okay. In so relationship with the family. Just under one roof. Okay. So Jason has been working. Let's just say you're working with a man. Yeah, and let's call he him says, John. Okay, we'll, we'll just say John. John says, you know what, Jason? I really would like to have a better relationship with my family. Yeah, we, se- we, seem, to be gr- we seem to be growing apart. Um, we not, we're not relating on things. Everything I do is for them, but they say I don't have time for them. All these things. From their perspective, they're like, John or dad or honey... I would like to spend more time with you. That's really what's happening. Now, on the surface, it may come out more like you never take out the trash. You miss the (laughs) you miss the kids' soccer game. Yeah, it sounds like you're not enough. You were late for dinner. I don't understand why you're always spending time at work. So it, it comes out in arguments like that. However, what's on the surface is never what's really going on. What the family is really saying, Dad, we want to spend more time with you. So from the family's perspective, they are also wanting a better relationship. Yeah, the family's saying, Dad, we love you. And the dad is saying, family, I love you. And so the dad is saying, I love you. I'm going to work and provide for you. And because give you that, everything I can. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna work myself to death to give you everything you could ever want. And all they want is the time and space to be in that so, love frame. So before you go there, let me explain to everyone. So this is what happens. John hears the family saying, Dad, we just we just want love. That's what we want from you. Well, in John's subconscious mind. Because he was programmed this way when he was probably zero to five years old. He doesn't even realize he's been programmed this way. He has been programmed to show love by providing safety. Security. Security. Financial stability. Yeah, just all the uh, the comfort. All of the comfort things. So in John's subconscious mind, he's thinking, I need to provide more, work harder, (laughs) faster, stronger, more often. I need to provide more, more, more so that my family's not worrying, worrying, worrying. What's happening on the surface is never what's really happening. So there's a disconnect in communication and interpretation. Now, the more that John spends time at the office trying to network, to make more opportunities for himself, to make more money, to make more... To provide the security, the financial freedom, the the just all the comforts of that safety zone for Be- the family. Because that's <clears throat> how he shows love. Guess what's happening? At home, they're saying... Oh, dad misses dinner again. Dad misses oh, my sporting event. He didn't make it to my play. My I didn't. I saw an empty seat out there. And the wife is getting frustrated because she's thinking, 
<clears throat> I'm having to manage this family all by myself. And what about my dreams? What about my career? I am stuck. And so then resentment starts to build in her soul. And she doesn't even realize it because she loves her children. She loves her family. Her family is the most important thing to her. So why would resentment build? Well, resentment is building because her soul is saying, you know what? You have dreams too. How come you're not putting yourself first? And the problem is that she loves her husband, but she loves her husband that she fell in love with that had all this time and attention that he gave to her because where you, where your focus goes, your energy and attention flow. And it, it starts to be two magnets that turn back to back. And all of a sudden they start repelling one another. They try to communicate. And next thing you know, they're, it's almost communicating is almost, it almost makes your hair stand it's, because it you're turns like, a little combative you don't get it. Because you get stuck in this thought of I'm doing the best I can. And, and it's, it's trapped in your own sameness is what it is. It's the gift of the Magi. Yeah. I don't know if any of you know the story, what a beautiful story. of the gift of the Magi, but every Christmas. It's a story of love. But it's so sad and heartbreaking. It is such a sad... Yeah, here we are. It's such a beautiful story, but it's so sad and heartbreaking. Because it shows how much they love each other. And it's so heartbreaking um, just how how the the love manifests itself. And it literally is... I mean, it's a love story. And the husband is selling his prized possession, which is a watch so that he can buy a a brush a brush and mirror set for his for his wife who has beautiful hair and she is cutting her hair so she can sell it right so that she can sell it to buy a I, watch I, I forget what she was selling it for but it's um it was it, it's just an amazing story cuz basically their gifts cancel out each other yeah they because they're both they're both trying to provide a gift for the other, but the other gives up that asset in order to provide the gift for the other person. They give up what they love to provide, provide the love for the other person. <laughs> but really, it's it all but boils that's what's down. Happening. Yeah. So when you, if you could just com- get together and by the way, realize, we totally messed up that story. So read right. it on your own because yeah. it's beautiful. We read it every Christmas and, and it makes not, us cry. It's a short story. It's a short children's story, and it's like, oh, it's so beautiful. But the the whole point of it is, is if you can get to a level of communication and realize that hey, we are on the same team and we're going for the same goal. And a lot of times, what happens is, is husbands and wives or, or partners don't communicate what it what safety and what security actually means and that we're all doing our our part and what enough is like what the definition of enough is and what a win looks like and what the real important things are because the, the husband wants to be like or whoever it is wants to be what the other person wants them to be. Well, he, here's here's where we zoom out and we analyze the whole situation. John is depleting his energy by trying to provide love and support and s- stability. However, if he just came home and spent time and had fun, he would get this energy that all of a sudden he would actually be able to work less and he would start attracting opportunities. They would start coming to him. It creates a new energy field. Because he would be on a different frequency. It's all about the way we feel. We get stuck in trying to push around matter. Mm, Wow. Do That's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're we're three D object, three D beings trying to push around three D objects. Yeah, we try to push around matter to make things happen. This is a level of consciousness which is called trying to happen. It's called by me. It's living by me, and it's trying to make life happen. It's trying to actually force 
things happen. And sometimes Wayne Dyer used to call this, this is swimming upstream. This is swimming upstream. God, how long did I feel like I was swimming upstream? Now, when you move up one level of consciousness, then you're living life through me. And when you start to live life through me, it's a different energy field. It's a different level of consciousness. And all of a sudden you're swimming with the stream and life starts to happen in flow. It starts to happen with more ease. Now, it doesn't mean that you're not working hard. It doesn't mean it's easy. And it doesn't mean it's <laughs> it's easy, but it means that it is, it's more fun and there's more energy and the, the work that you're doing seems effortless. And it's, and it's more the fruitful. effort that you're putting into life is effortless. That is a big distinction. So when you're living in the consciousness level of by me, the effort you are putting in is... The work feels like work. It feels <laughs> like impossible work. And you come home and you're exhausted yep. and it is depleting. That's where you're, Whereas, you're coming home from work and you, you're, you're trying to find a way to escape from what you've yeah, done for the day. You're like, pour me a glass of wine. I need to numb out. Yeah. I need to numb out because, oh my gosh, it has just been a day. Please rub my feet. <laughs> right? Yeah. And if you won't do it, then I'm going to have to do it myself. I'm just going to have to rub my own damn feet. And then you usually just don't do that because you're too tired I'm to go too to tired to rub my own damn feet. <laughs> you turn so, on some nonsense television or yeah, the news and you, just get worse. <laughs> you chill out on Netflix. And the next thing you know, you've been doing that for five hours. Or five years and you don't even remember a thing you've watched. <laughs> but when you move up a level of consciousness to buy me... Now, all of a sudden, your efforts are effortless because they are more in aligned with your desires. Your desires match your decisions, which match your divine design. It's why you were put on this earth. And all of a sudden, your energy level, it just starts coming out of you. Instead of you having to look for ways to fill your energy instead of you waking up in the morning going, Oh my gosh, I, I need to recharge my batteries. Even though I just, I just had a good night's sleep. I still right. feel like I need to recharge my battery. Or even though I just had a three day vacation or a five day vacation. I feel like I need a vacation. Right. Whereas when you're living by me, you through me or when you're living through me, excuse me, now we're right. now I'm confusing myself, <laughs> but when you step up a consciousness level and you start living through me, you start becoming motivated. And you don't even know why. Yeah. It's 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 an inspired life. It's because it's you're getting it's energized coming from by the within. You're doing. Yeah. You are becoming inspired from within. And you see the progress that you're making. Oh, I love it. Inspiration. You're living in spirit. You are living in spirit. That's what inspiration is. It's in spirit. It's when you align your desires with your decisions, with your divine design, and all of a sudden life becomes effortless. I hope this helps someone. I hope this helps someone. If it does, please reach out to us. Visit our website at livinglucky.com. We want to hear from you. And I'm telling you, if you want to just share our podcast with one friend, that would help us out so much. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for joining us. Start living lucky. Bye-bye. If the idea of living lucky appeals to you, visit us at startlivinglucky.com.